Yeah, BitBoy's always kind of in there for, for a lot of rants. I know there's a couple rants that have been really, really made famous and honestly probably profited the hit network quite a bit. So you do have to feel for him to a certain extent, right? He did kind of make hit network in a, in a way what they are today from what I understand. So it must be pretty tough to kind of be ripped away from that. But that being said, I don't necessarily think we can blame hit network. I Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Wagme TV. We got a crazy one here today. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit more about BitBoy Crypto. Turns out last night uh, we got news that he was, in fact, arrested. And so we're going to go through this crazy altercation that took place uh, and everything that kind of led up to it and kind of where we go from here. So I'll throw it over to Armada to, to give us the full rundown. Yeah, absolutely. So BitBoy um, was arrested during the late hours of Monday evening, um, really after what, what, what has been called an apparent confrontation with his former business partner. Um, some of it was actually live streamed on Twitter or now known as X. Um, and he was allegedly arrested for loitering and prowling and for simple assault by placing another in fear. Uh, just so that we all know, he has since been released on bail. So let's go into the story. Armstrong, kind of like we highlighted last week, was previously ousted from his media company, um, where he was known as BitBoy Crypto, following a unanimous decision, um, which likely led to this altercation here on Monday evening. So he's booted from Hit Network, which owned the BitBoy Crypto brand, which Armstrong really made famous um, and really... Less than after a week after a failed bid reclaimed the namesake of the company, this happened. So Armstrong then posted to Twitter or X that he would uh, be going live from a very special location. This location uh, then would happen to be the house of a crypto investor and consultant named Carlos Diaz, who Armstrong does claim is connected to Hit Network and alleges has stolen his Lambo. So during that live stream on YouTube, uh, he basically alleges that Diaz wanted to kill him, um, that he has links with the mafia, and claimed that he's really constantly fearing for his own safety. And then around 19, 20 minutes into the stream, the local police of Georgia arrived to, to question Armstrong. So <clears throat> from there, basically, the police asked if he had a weapon on him. He didn't have one on his person, but let him know that he did have one in his backseat of his car. And then they also asked him if anyone else was in the car, he kind of struggles to answer at first, but eventually admits that the woman he had an affair with is actually in his car. Um, it should be known that he does claim his wife knows they are both there as well. So really it ends with uh, him alleging to the police that Diaz has been extorting him, sending him death threats, and of course, stole his Lambo. Um, and from there, it's kind of the rest is history, right? He was taken into, to, into jail. So <laughs> any thoughts on that, boys? Just an absolutely ludicrous story, honestly. It takes it takes the you know the crypto term when Lambo to a whole new level, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like just an absolute. I don't even know what to say, honestly, to to this story. Um, obviously, Bitboy Crypto is somebody who everyone in the you know Web three crypto space knows, and it's just crazy to see all this stuff going on. Uh, one thing that just really you know, if you watch the video, um you know, as a, as a point of emphasis in terms of why he was so afraid and like to illustrate this uh, connection to, I guess, the Houston mafia, uh, you know, he brings up this elaborate story about how, uh, I guess at one point, Carlos Diaz and members of the Houston mafia, uh, I guess, bribed or paid off a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't know when this would have been uh, to basically allow uh, Charles Grant who was, I believe, a defensive end on, on the New Orleans Saints at one point, to basically get five sacks in one game. Uh, and then on the back of that, you know, this this resulted in Charles Grant getting this huge contract. This is a claim that BitBoy makes within the video. And, you know, we, you know, we're huge sports heads here on this on the show. So, you know, we immediately tried to go look it up. And it's worth knowing that we weren't able to find anything. So if anybody watching this show actually uh can verify that this happened that would be super helpful so definitely let us know in the comments if you can <laughs> like just just to totally wild claims being made here uh evan what are your thoughts 
Yeah, I mean, I think the bull market is back. This is absolutely <laughs> bullish for all of crypto. Um, no, I mean, it, it's absolutely insane. It's ludicrous. Like you said, <clears throat> the whole confrontation, you know, just really BitBoys last week, He's he's gone kind of crazy. And um, I don't think this is a new YouTube channel that he was talking about. It seems like this was probably an independent stream that wasn't working off of the new YouTube channel. But if it was, I'd be subscribing because this was entertainment. And I feel like it has captured the crypto community for the last couple or last day here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to make of it. It seems seems like he's kind of going off the rails. Um, you know, after this this uh, video came out, I, I think it was probably a good move by Hit Network to, you know, remove him from his show. It seems like, you know, he's, he's kind of uh, going down a, a, a tailspin here, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Not not a lot to take away from it. Just a just another wild BitBoy uh, clip to to try and make sense of. Yeah, BitBoy is always kind of in there for for a lot of rants. I know there's a couple rants that have been really really made famous, and honestly, probably profited the Hit Network quite a bit. So you do have to feel for him to a certain extent, right? He did kind of make Hit Network. In a, in a way, what they are today, from what I understand. So it must be pretty tough to kind of be ripped away from that. But that being said, I don't necessarily think we can blame Hit Network either. It, it should be noted that uh, the Lambo in question, according to, to Hit Network, was given to BitBoy as an employee. So when the network decided to remove Armstrong, they basically said, um, you know, we wanted to sell that Lambo to recoup the funds and that it was allegedly stolen from them from Armstrong. So everyone's um, kind of just talking in their own narrative. Who knows exactly what's true? But what I think we do know is that the bull market certainly is not back. <laughs> 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 because the Ben token um, actually dropped 30% uh, as, as reports of this kind of leaked on Tuesday. So <laughs> and, and look, I think we all would love to see like a healthy, you know, um, clean clear-headed bit boy back in the youtube environment i i know i love his rants and i love his daily shows so we obviously would love that so you know hopefully that happens but wow what a turn of events last week i mean the other thing that confuses me is that if you're actually terrified for your life like would you really go and just roll up to this dude's front door like that sounds like a pretty fucking ballsy thing to do man like if you're actually scared for your life you just show up i mean I guess that's with how he rolled. Woman, with your mistress, too? Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> he knows how to get the views. That's <laughs> for sure. Up with his, I mean, that is true. <laughs> yeah. You know, he Man's is a content piece, machine. Not his main piece. He showed up with his side piece. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that's it for, uh, you know, this episode of Wagby TV. Of course, a crazy, uh, crazy story out here. Let us know what you think in the in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you here on the next one on Wagme TV.